Okay, everyone. Okay, so welcome to homework. Tuesday, no, it's Wednesday. Wednesday, and it's 2.8 problem solving division. All right, and so we were doing our division, and we're going to only do this one time. So make sure that you're understanding, or at least get the gist of it, because then we're going to move on tomorrow on multiplying decimals. So let's read this together. Eddie's moving company moved three boxes out of Mrs. Diaz's house. Okay, so we know that there's three boxes that were moved. The box labeled kitchen, so we have one box, was four times as heavier as the box labeled bedroom. The box labeled library was 14 times heavier than the box marked bedroom. If the combined weight of the boxes was 108, uh, what, I'm so sorry, 817 pounds, how much did the box labeled kitchen weigh? All right, so remember we did this in class together? So what do I need to find out? Okay, so I need to find out Very good. I can already hear somebody saying it. We need to find out the weight of the box labeled kitchen. I'm going to put kitchen. All right. And that's what I asked. How much does the box labeled kitchen weigh? And that's what we need to find out. I'm going to bracket that part up. What information am I given? Okay, so let's work back to it. I know that there's three boxes, and the total weight of the three boxes was 817 pounds. So the combined weight of three boxes is 817. You can write out pounds or you can abbreviate. You'll have to know that when we get to the next unit. Okay. What else do I know? All right. I know that this is one. The next one I know that the box labeled library was 14 times heavier. So I'm going to write the library box was 14 times heavier. Okay, then the bar box marked um, bedroom. Okay, what's another fact that I know? Yes, so the kitchen box is was four times as heavy as the one marked bedroom. Okay, so I want to oh, start track there. So here it's the kitchen box. So this is the last one. So the box marked kitchen. Was four times heavier as the one marked bedroom. Okay. All right. Now, do I know what the bedroom is going to weigh? the box marked bedroom. No. So they just drew out this diagram and remember we were saying, so I'm going to put the first one because I don't know bedroom. Okay, so I'm just going to 
show that this is going to represent bedroom. So whatever I come up with, that's going to be what my quotient is. That's going to be the weight of the bedroom. Then it says that I have a the kitchen, right? And so the kitchen is four times. So how many boxes am I going to highlight? That's right, because the kitchen is four times heavier as the bedroom. So I'm going to do one, one box, two box, three box, four box. Oops, one, two, three, four. There we go. Got a little carried away. One, two. So I have one box, two box, three box, four box. Okay, so that is four times. So I'm just going to write here four times heavier. Then T H E N. T H. Yeah, I did. T H A N. Then the bedroom box. Okay, and then we said that the library, how many boxes will then we need? You're right, 14, because that's 14 times heavier than the bedroom box, and we're comparing it to the bedroom. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it's this whole thing. I didn't even count it when I started, so... Okay, and we said it was 14 times heavier than bedroom. Okay, so we drew out our diagram. And now, what would my equation be? I know my dividend, right? What's my dividend? Yeah, it's going to be the total weight that I have, right? And so what is the total weight that I have? It's 817. What's going to be my divisor? You're right, I have to add these up. So what is 14 plus 4? So I'm going to write it out here. 14 plus 4 plus 1. So this is 18 plus 1 equals 19. So this makes it my divisor. And this makes it easier when you draw your diagram, your strip diagram, to figure out the divisor. And now I'm going to show my work. Okay, I'm going to do the standard or long division standard algorithm. And so do the one that you feel most comfortable. So I have 19 goes into 817. I'm going to put my one group of 19 has to be at least 19. Is 19, can 19 go into 8? Nope, it's too small, so it's 0. Zero groups of 19 equals zero. Subtract it out. That's eight. Bring down my one. How many groups of 19 can go into 81? Well, I know one group will be 19, but can I do more groups? Yeah, so let's do, let me do five, because I like to start in the middle. Five times nine equals 45. Oops, looks like it's going to be too big. Five times one is five, plus four is nine. So now I'm going to drop one group. So I'm going to do 19 times 4. That's 36. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 is 7. So that's as close as I can get. So because I had it under the 10s, it's going right above the 10s. And that makes it at 76, and I can subtract that out. To regroup, 11 minus 6 equals 5. 7 minus 7 equals 0. And I'm going to bring down my 7. Now I have 57. How many groups? of 19 can go into 57. Well, let me take another group away. So let's do 19 times 3. 3 times 9 equals 27. Regroup my 2. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2. Look at that. It's 5. So it'll be 3 groups. And I already know it's 57. I can subtract that out. And what is my remainder? Very good. It's 0. Remember, if you are still having problems with this, 
then you can um, stop the video, go back, and then play step by step. You're doing it, and then check your work. All right. So I can multiply. I need to find out the weight of the kitchen box, right? So we said that the quotient... Oh, my brain is going. Q-U-O-T-I-E-N-T. -E equals, what did we say? Yeah, 43. So the bedroom box then, this number right here, your quotient, the weight of the bedroom box is going to be what? Absolutely, 43. So this one square will represent 43. I needed to get the kitchen, and it said that it was four times heavier than the bedroom. So this square here is represented by 43. So each square is 43. How do I get the weight of the kitchen? You're right. I can multiply 43 times 4 to find the weight of the kitchen box. So the box labeled kitchen box weighs what? So now I'm going to multiply it out. 43 times 4. 3 times 4 equals 12. 4 times 4 is 16 plus 1 equals 17. So the weight of it is 172 pounds. And that's the weight of the kitchen box. Okay? Let's look at number six. Um, as you were doing the one through four, is that correct? Oh, I said one through six, so we have to do five. I didn't realize I did that. Okay, so we'll do it. An athlete ran 1,200 laps around a track over a two-month period. He ran four times the number of laps in the second month than he ran in the first month. So how many laps did the athlete run the first month? All right. So now I'm going to move over to a clean page. Going to go through the same process. What I need to find out? I need to find out how many laps. athlete or the runner run first month. Okay? And now, what do I know? Or what is given? Okay? He ran a total. So, athlete ran a total of 1,200 laps in two months. Okay, and what else do I know? He ran four times the number of laps in the second month. So here, oh, sorry about that. Ran four times the number of laps in the second run. Do we know the number of laps in the first one? No, but that's what we're going to do. All right, so now I'm going to draw my strip diagram. I'm going to call this month one. I'm going to represent it with one square. And then month two, how many squares will I have? Well, I said that he ran four times the number of laps um, in the second one, so I'm going to have four. Okay, and so now I have one, two, three, four. Okay, so what is my divisor? 